A lot can change very quickly with Team Meli, and you know what I'm talking about. On today's episode, we will briefly talk about Carlos Queiroz, former head coach of the national team of Iran. You know the deal, and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Meli Talk. Carlos Queiroz has left Iran, but he hasn't gone very far. Hey everyone, welcome to Team Meli Talk. It's been a while, but it's great to be back. Now let's get right to it. Carlos Queiroz is no longer the head coach of Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Now there were rumors stating that he would be getting a contract extension to be Iran's coach at the 2023 Asian Cup. Obviously that did not happen. He is the new head coach of the national team of Qatar. But before going any further, I want to share bits of a conversation I had with two friends not long after the 2022 World Cup. Of course, we are talking about Carlos Quiroz, and I had a very simple question for both of them. Do you want Carlos Quiroz to stay as head coach of the national team of Iran? Let's see what Kiarash Mahdavi had to say. And even though I really appreciate all the hard work he has done for our team, uh, he got us out of a very dark positions. And uh, he is fighting a rotten system from the inside. Uh, and that cannot be underestimated. Um, but I think it's time to let him go because uh, his strategy and his tactics uh, are not uh, suited for the modern football that we're playing now and witnessing now. Uh, and I think that uh, it's very shocking that we haven't come back one single time when we fall behind in a game under Carlos Queiroz. And it's not an incident, that's a pattern. So to me, it feels like uh, he is a one-trick pony. So yeah, I believe it's time to let him go and try search for a manager that adopts a more attacking approach, but balance it. And also gives younger players a chance that dares to take the risk. Uh, and yeah, just thank Carlos Queiroz for all uh, his services and move on. Thank you, Kiorash. Always appreciate your insight. Now let's see what Navi Tahir had to say. I fully understand Kiorash's opinion, but I must say I would actually prefer Carlos Queiroz to stay due to the following reason. I firstly believe that we know what Carlos was capable of if he has of, um, enough preparation. If you look at the fact he only had bit more than two months of preparation, two real friendly matches to prepare Senegal and Uruguay. The other two, um, Nicaragua and Tunisia, were kind of more like really like a test matchup, but like not even like full squad, etc. Um, the fact, I also believe that Carlos Kerr is probably the coach that knows Iranian football the best. Um, we really lost almost two, three years um, with a bit, not the most competent uh, coaches of Scotland and Vilma. So I believe if Carlos was this, just continuous work would have definitely gotten out the group stage. Obviously, a lot comes back to this US game, which was basically like crucial and, and the game changer for this whole World Cup. I understand that people are not happy with him and this the approach he took, but the other, the other side, um, he also like really delivered when he had to, for instance, in the Wales game. Um, one important factor, which we also, as Kiara mentioned before, I think we're the oldest team at the World Cup. I think Carlos is a man that can bring in young a lot. Um, if you consider that, like, for instance, after the World Cup 2014, we integrated a lot of younger players like Bayron Van, Reza Yan, Azmoun, Jahan Bash, um, Eza Tolahi. So these are all players he integrated very shortly after, like, that World Cup and made that team younger and, like, hungrier. Um, I believe he's, he can do that, especially with new players, like, new prospects, like Hossein Zad, Alayar. Um. Okay, you just heard two different points of view regarding Carlos Queiroz. Now, from my opinion... I agree with Kiarash Mahdavi. I am not bothered that Carlos Quiroz is no longer head coach of Iran. And I agree. I got tired of Carlos Quiroz's tactics and it was time to move on. And the bottom line is that this is a results-based business. I mean, first, let me just say, I will always appreciate the hard work from Carlos Quiroz. But let's remember that Iran did not get to the second round of the World Cup in 2014, 2018, or 2022. The bottom line is that Team LA fans want to see Iran make it to the second round of the World Cup, just like other successful national teams in Asia. I can't lie, but right now I'm not very optimistic. And the reason why I say this is because Mehdi Taj, who is of course the president of the Iranian Football Federation, he recently was quoted as saying that Iran is not in a hurry to hire a new head coach. Now of course this is concerning to me because 
Just because Iran did not do well at the 2022 World Cup, it doesn't mean that it is time to just sit back and do nothing. But aside from Mehdi Taj's incompetence, there are a few candidates rumored to be the next head coach of the national team of Iran. Those candidates are Farhad Majidi, Amir Galanoi, Yahya Golmohammadi, and Javad Nekunan. Farhad Majidi was capped 45 times for Iran, and he led Estegal to a Persian Gulf Pro League title in 2022. At the moment, he is currently head coach of Al Ittihad Kalba in the UAE. Amir Galanoi is obviously a coach who hardly needs any introduction. He was capped 20 times for Iran. He was also head coach of Team Ali at the 2007 Asian Cup, and he is currently head coach of Gol Gohar. Yahya Golmohammadi is currently the head coach of Perspolis, and he led the Iranian Giants to a second place finish at the Asian Champions League. And of course, he represented Iran at the 2006 World Cup in Germany. Javad Nekunam has just resigned as head coach of Fulat. Let's not forget, Javad Nekunam was once an assistant coach to Carlos Quiroz back in 2016. Now, the reason why this is breaking news is because Fulat has just defeated Al Faisali, 1 0 in the second round of the current edition of the Asian Champions League. And Javad Nekuna announced his resignation immediately after the game. This, of course, is now leading everyone to believe that Javad Nekunam will be announced as head coach of the national team of Iran. Now, from my point of view, it's difficult for me to have so much to say at this moment. Reason being is because, I mean, to be honest, yes, I have a lot of respect for Javad Nekunam, who was an amazing player for Team LE, and he's done a decent job while he's been head coach of Fula. But my choice for head coach was Yahya Golmohammadi. To me, I felt like he has the right demeanor, personality, and I feel like his players will do anything for him. So he was my choice. I actually also thought that Amir Galanoi was the front runner for the job. It appears I was wrong on that one. But of course, like I just said, we'll have to wait for the official announcement, but it appears that Java Nekunam will be announced as the next head coach of Team Ali, the national team of Iran. Now, what about you? Do you think Java Nekunam is the best man for the job to be the next head coach of Team Ali? Leave a comment down below. Always look forward to getting your input. And that's it, everybody, for this edition of Team Ali Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teamelitalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team Ali, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team Ali Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team Ellie Talk.